And welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Booster Cracking Sunday, and we are jumping back into Rebirth of Legend. That's right, we've got only three more of these suckers to open up, so uh, this week, next week, and the week after, we're going to be breaking into the rest of them, so stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe and put on those notifications so you don't miss them. Uh, but before we jump into this beautiful little mini box that is so wonderful and so awesome to jump into every single time, We've got a little teaser for you guys. Something just came in the mail that I want to show off. I got in, finally, one of the last few sets of Force of Will on my list to complete opening all of the Force of Will sets. I've got a lot of the rare sets already, like Decisive Battle of Valhalla and Castle of Heaven and Two Towers, but I'm missing two more. Alice Origins number two, which I've yet to find, and this one, the Time Spinning Witch. I finally found someone that was selling this sucker. I haven't seen one available in such a long time, but oh my goodness, I finally found it. I am so excited to open up this legendary set, and I hope you guys are too. But I also got a second one. Yeah, I've got two of these boxes, which is just madness. I got so lucky, and I'm so happy, and I got a decent price on them, so that makes it even better. So yeah, stay tuned for this box and all the other rare sets. I know I've been putting them off. I'm trying to play catch up on all the things I've been promising you guys with the teasers, but I appreciate the patience, and these are coming soon. Life is finally getting back to normal for me a little bit, where I can get set up on an easier situation to start editing some of these really nice ones. I want the videos to be cool. I want the videos to look awesome, so I appreciate you holding out for those. But on to Rebirth of Legend, this awesome little box that we have been cracking into the last few weeks. I'm glad you guys have been enjoying them. These are just so fun to do. So let's get into it. Why are we waiting? Let's see what J-Ruler we can find in this one, shall we? Let's rip through this pass plastic, plastic, plastic. I don't know what I'm saying. It's getting late. And let's see what we can reveal in this one. Oh my gosh, I just smacked the camera hard. <laughs> We got Lilius, the last descendant of the Dragonoids. Oh my gosh, we are just getting no duplicates of these J-Rulers, which is awesome. Uh, and we just keep finding even better ones. It's so cool. Look at this. I, now, I did get this one when I opened up the Epic of the Dragon Lord, uh, but it is a cool looking card and I'll take it. And we're just gonna open it up again. She should still be like a $20 card or something like that. This one supposedly has an alternate art, but someone please, I have never seen the alternate art of this card, and if someone can explain to me the difference between, I've heard it's a very, very small difference for the alternate art, but it's always confused me, so someone leave a comment, let me know what was going on with those, but really cool pull nonetheless, and a beautiful card. All right, on to the first pack. There's only like one or two more that we haven't gotten in the full arts, I think. Maybe like one more, we got him in the full art, we got this one in the full art, we got this one in the full art. Let me zoom in a little bit, there we go. Uh, Magna we got in the foil, Abdul, there's the full art of that one as well. Not really worth a ton, but uh, pretty dang cool with those purples. Yeah, so I wanna say there's like one more, two more that we don't have yet. So let's see if we can find them in this box. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, wow, that was, I'm sorry, guys. That was a bad one <laughs> for me to open up like that. Celestia, Melfi, Yadrazo, and then Lilius, Sylvia Lilius again. Very cool. I'll take this one all day. It's like $8 or $10, something like that. It's a dope looking full art for sure. It is so sick. Really cool. She's going in the thumbnail. I'm calling her right now. That will be the thumbnail, girl. All right, next one, though. Let's see, we got Abel, we got Flute, we got Abdul, we got Valentina. I'll take another one of Valentina, because she is dope looking. And Farika, Lady in a Trash, yeah, very dope. Oh, I love the freaking artwork on this card. It's so freaking cool, man. So awesome. Next one, let's go. We got Flute on top, the little Flute girl. Uh, Abel, we got Shakti, which we did find a full art of. And then we got another Valentina. Let's go. These are such... Dope foilings. I can't get over the foilings. I know I'm probably repeating myself at this point on the set. This is a problem with doing all these videos back to back. It's just you just gawk over the same things of all the cool cards when you have such a limited number of cards in each set. But hey, come on. Can you blame me? These are beautiful. Next, let's keep going. Oh my gosh. I think I looked and I thought there was one more, but I could be wrong. Prissy, a good one to get. Not a foil, but it's still got some value on it. 
Forge Ion's Attendant. Did we get this one? Oh gosh, I can't even remember anymore. But freaking, I'll take it. That is an awesome one. I'm pretty sure we did get her. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did because these greens are making it quite familiar, giving me some uh, deja vu. I haven't looked in a minute. Have the prices gone down at all on these? Have they restocked or are we still sold out everywhere? It's pretty crazy trying to watch all these new sets just go sold out really quickly. It's been really exciting. All right, Grim and Pandora. And then behind it, we got Lars the Sacred King. You are not worth anything, uh, but your artwork is decent. I do appreciate it. It's pretty cool. Next up, let's go. Come on now. We got Kane sitting at the top. The Demonic Castle. Abdul again. Uh, Ragnarok's Fiery Stone. Always happy to get a full art of you, but we've got Yadrazel Top Tourist Destination as our full art. Maybe this was the one I was missing, just these random ones. Okay, cool though. Next up, shall we get into it? Thank you. All right, we got our Pearl Shine on top, our Melfi, our Farika, and then we got Dracula. All right, yep, Dracula is a good one. Behind it, we've got Abel. Not as good, but the artwork's cool. I'll take it. Only two more packs. We're already flying through. Hey, if you have haven't checked out yesterday's video we're opening up some crazy bones so if you got any nostalgia for old 90s 2000s crazy bone styling you might want to go check those out because they are a lot of fun link in the description but let's get into the treasure trove right here abdul kirik's training ground lunia master guide give me another one of her that'd be dope and then magna yes as the foil oh i love this card the foiling on these Marvel Rares is so tight and so well done. Oh, it's got some good value too. Last pack, let's get into it. Leave a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of these cool boxes that we've got going into. We got Kyrick's Training Ground. We got Kane, Pearly Shiny, Rezard, which we got last time in a full art, not bad. And then we got Mirabella, yes, the Sincere Engineer. Oh, very good. Good one to get. I think it's got like $18 on it still. Prices have been lowering. They've been coming down, but that's okay. We've got to have them level off at some point, but still got some good value in the foil, so I will take it. All right, really quick, some pulls of the day. Of course, we've got our Sylvia Lilius as our nice full art, our Valentina, owner of the theater, beautiful card, Magna as our foil, and then Marabella as our nice Marvel Rare foil. And then, of course, the box breaker maker. We've got Lilius, Last Descendant of the Dragonoids as our nice box topper, J-Ruler. Holy cow, man. These are so freaking fun. I can't get over it. I can't get over it. I'm sorry. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that quick little video. Again, subscribe. Stay tuned. We got more of these openings coming up. And again, we're going to be opening up some of these rare sets soon. I know we're going to get to them. Don't worry. But I am super excited for Time Spinning Witch. So I'll probably jump into that one soon, honestly, because I'm excited for it. But hopefully you guys are too. Thank you for the support. Thank you for watching. And we will see you guys in the next video.